You are here because you were meant to be here. You are here because you and I have a precious gift. And that precious gift is from the Lord and is a son or sons. After a painful divorce, was seeking answers. How am I gonna raise a son? And in a moment of, of um, trials, tribulations, frictions, and pain, I said, Lord, we need to connect. My son and I, we're not connecting. We've gone through so much. I'm not here today to tell you that my son and I have a perfect relationship. We're still growing together. And I'm pretty sure each and every one of you, with your sons, you're still growing. You're still learning things about one another as we do with the Lord, because we never cease to learn about the Lord. We have a great role. Who's to say that you and I are not raising the next President of the United States? Better yet, the next great man of God, like Billy Graham and the great teacher, like my pastor, Pastor Greg. You understand, who's to say? But us mothers, we have a vital role that we need to play in our son's lives. Right there, sorry Anthony, there you go. The and Lord has given us the mandate as mothers. Going there to take care of the foster children. To, to nurture our sons and daughters, our children, mentally, physically, spiritually. And in what way, better way we can communicate with our boys, being that they are so physical. We have to go out of our comfort zone uh, in order to just try to connect. When he said basketball, I'm like, basketball? What do I know about basketball? All I know is just dribble the ball and I've seen it, but I have not played it. You've given me basketball? We mentioned basketball. Basketball is not the means, it's just the platform to bring those who are outside, who are going through probably the same or worse than I, what I have gone through, just to bring them together and say, listen, here, the Lord has a word for you. I've been there. We can share it together. You understand? So um, this is just a platform that the Lord is using, the basketball. Say, Lord, there are so many boys out there, so many things that are going out there that involve boys, especially those who do not have a, a father figure at home. You understand? It's, we, you and I are fortunate because our boys are not in the jailhouse. How about the mother who's crying daily? Does not know what to do because the boys are out there. How about that? They need a place, they need someone to just support them in prayer and say, Lord, he are boys the gift that you have given us because they are the fruit of our wounds we have to nurture them and how do we do that through prayer we can do it on our own reach out to mothers reach out to mothers we want to be there for them in prayer and however else the Lord wish it to happen He's the provider. He's the provider.